we in the same cage. And then you got the ooh, souls doing their damn thing, man. Jimmy and Jay showed up and showed out, gave us some of that old school brotherly love that we've been missing. But then don't you worry, because we got the honorary Us himself. Who? Sammy Uso, that boy Sammy Zayn did the damn thing. But let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Solo Sakura being very methodical, being the OG that he is. Kept it cool, kept it gangster, was the last one to come out on the OG, uh, excuse me, on the Bloodline 2.0 side. But let's talk about that boy, the Samoan werewolf, that boy Jacob Five two, that boy Jacob Five Two was made for the WWE, baby. Jacob Five Two was made for mainstream. Jacob Five Two was made for entertainment. I know before Jacob Five Two got signed, before the Samoan Werewolf got signed, I know there was rumblings, there was in, in, uh, uh, in, inklings and rumors. Is is he too wild for the WWE? Can he can, can he can can he play along within the WWE system? Is he too violent? Is he too street? Is he too real? Nah, brother. Mm -mm. That boy Jacob Fatu said, yeah, we could bring this real shit. We could bring it to the mainstream and we can make it do what it do. The Samoa Werewolf did a great job in his first war games. He did great. Uh, Tama Tonga, once again, being the crazy SOB he is, he was very entertaining in this match. Solo Sokoa calling the shots, very entertaining. That boy Big Bronson Reed, the monster, man. Uh, dude, colossal. Colossal, colossal, colossal splash off the top. Uh, I believe he broke his toe or something like that. I got, I got, I got to go back and recheck uh, what, I, what, I, what I saw earlier, if that is indeed the case. Uh, after a big splash through the table, uh, man, he took all of that, man. Uh, so, again, uh, great match, though. Well, I'm not going to say great match. It was an entertaining match. Uh, I, for one, was under the impression that maybe somebody like The Rock would be coming back the final boss, but I think we got him already at bad blood. So it's like, you know, my partner too cold said, well, what's the point of him coming back two pay-per-views in a row and just not say anything. But again, you know, Hey, it was what it was. Now did I think as a big four pay-per-view, did I think this lived up to the hype and expectations I have of a uh, big four pay-per-views? Honestly, it did not. I feel like it was very tame. It was very mild, especially giving, you know, the star power in this uh it was just a very cut and dry pay-per-view and sometimes man you know less is more and in this case i think even though i didn't get what i expected to get i got what i needed to and for that i can understand and i can appreciate and i can respect that but with that being said man just want to come on here get my quick thoughts um if you haven't already generation wrestling podcast be sure to subscribe like us on all social media and podcast platforms um i'm usually doing it with my boy king two cold man we usually on here monday night for the monday night block party talking wwe monday night raw wednesday night block party aw dynamite friday night block party talking smackdown to sometimes rampage and or collision on saturdays if it warrants that every now and again on tuesdays for the tuesday night block party we talk a little nxt on thursdays of the weeks of pay-per-views and PLEs, we always on for a Thursday night block party to give y'all them predictions and spoilers. And uh, yeah, so if you love pro wrestling, if you love wrestling content, hell, if you just want to see two people talk shit and have fun, and you just want to join in on the party, man, come holler at us, because at the GOW, we all family. Yes, sir. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for tuning in to a very special short preview edition of the GOW the Generation Wrestling Podcast. We'll be coming back on tomorrow for Monday night to recap in its entirety what happened on Summer uh, I said Summer Slam. Damn, I'm tired. Thanksgiving weekend, y'all. What happened on Survivor Series, Bloodline, OG Bloodline, uh, the Women's War Games match, the U.S. title match, uh, the World Heavyweight Championship match, the Intercontinental uh match i believe oh my god i'm getting i'm tired but anywho anywho monday night man block party so come tap in come tune in if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the generation wrestling podcast we got interviews with mickey james ddp godfather chris van vliet thunder rosa uh jordan grace leo rush jtg uh eric bischoff um godfather is so many more so if you love pro wrestling and if you love us man Tune in. Until next time on the franchise. Peace.